everybody! So this is the third take for this video. Um, let's hope this goes smoothly this time. I am not good at this, obviously. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so um, I just wanted to do a quick video introducing something I got in the mail to this. This is the Edge of Venomverse trade paperback, the first trade paperback published by Marvel for this event that occurred last year, it was end last year, like late summer, fall-ish, and I did one of the one-shots in this book. Let me try to look at the camera, ah, oh, the camera's over there. Yes, I mean, let's actually look at the camera, okay. So, I did the Gwenpool one-shot in... Um, this first trade paperback and basically what this book is it's a collection of short stories that uh, delve into what would happen if Venom basically was hosted by various other Marvel characters and I think in this trade there's X-23 which is the first one <clears throat> Gwenpool and then there's Ghost Rider Deadpool I think I think maybe and then there's Rocket Raccoon which is like really awesome and I think I think that's about it. There's about five. So all of those are in this trade paperback. And let's see. Let's flip to the Gwenpool one really quick. Yay! It's always a little strange getting um, comics of art that you drew like months and months ago. Um, but thankfully, I was, I was trying a lot of new stuff with uh, this issue. I was sort of going for basically something like in between a cute style and something a little grittier because Gwen's normal book, uh, which I've done some work on as well, I'm not the regular artist, the regular artist is great here obviously, but Gwen's style and her whole character is really cute and like everything she has is pink, but then you have Venom, so who is not cute and pink. And so I had, I was trying to go for something that was sort of in between, and I hope it was successful. I'm still pretty happy with um, how this turned out. So, so yeah. Um, and this page, um, I can say I'm still quite fond of, mostly because eating ninjas and eating ninjas is always good. So, eating ninjas, Gwen being crazy. And what's funny is Venom and Gwen actually go together surprisingly well because they're both, like, basically nuts. Uh, the story for Gwenpool, the Gwenpool one-shot, was written by Chris Hastings. Um, I worked with him, be with him before. He's always great to work with. The colors are by Java Tartaglia, and I think he did an awesome job. I'm not saying that uh, just because, <laughs> because, like, they're basically my coworkers. I really, I really do like how this issue turned out, and... Java did a phenomenal job coloring Gwen. Like, look at all those layers and, like, the lighting and stuff. Ooh, I think I drew her a little bug-eyed. Oh, shame on me. Why did I draw her like that? Who was I thinking? Um, but, so basically, what happens in Gwen's one, one shot is she fights ninjas, whatever, she goes around, goes crazy with uh, Venom, she, but she runs into Daredevil. And there's, like, a little, uh romance going on, sort of, albeit one way. Um, apparently Gwen has a crush on Daredevil, who in this alternate universe, again, these are all sort of like alternate realities, Daredevil in this universe is young and, and lithe and hot, so Gwen was like crushing on him really hard. It's hilarious. But anyways, I won't spoil it too much for you. I think this story is a lot of fun. Oh, check this out. Oh my gosh. That hammer fist, I am proud of that hammer fist and those teeth. Those are, um, those are nightmare teeth, if I may say so myself. So, anyways, uh, let's look at probably some of the other issues. The other, the other ones. And like I said, the first one is X-23. Um, really interesting, it's got this sort of um, speed liney, or not speed liney, but brushy art style that's sort of reminds me of what a lot of crime stories have. 
It's really cool seeing all the other artists and what they did. The Ghost Rider one, which is the third story. Oh man, which by the way has an awesome cover. Check this out. Oh my gosh. That is. His tongue is on fire. I approve of tongues on fire. Well, not, not in reality, but if you're a ghostwriter, I approve of um, tongues on fire. It's badass. The art style for this one is really, really cool, too. Sort of um, like, like scratchy and a lot of motion, really dynamic, and the coloring is very pop art-ish. It's not, it stands out a lot. I've got to check out this artist and see some more of their work. Let's see here, this is the Ghost Rider one. Check that out. The proportions remind me a lot of Luther Strode, just like really exaggerated proportions, like characters, dudes with like humongous arm, just exaggerated body parts. But it's more, Luther Strode is very clean line-y, and this is very grit. This is like, looks like nibs and brushes, and the line work is like, just if you know what I mean. That made no sense. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's exactly how, how drawing goes. That's how I draw. That's why everything I, I do is a mess. Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, the Ghost Rider one is really cool. Let's see. The one after that is Logan. Is this Old Man Logan? I obviously haven't read this entire thing. Oh my gosh. The Ghost Rider. What is happening? Okay, I'm not gonna. Alright, so. Yes, Logan. Ooh. Here is the Logan one going to like a more clean, line arty art style. Really good coloring. And yeah, that's Old Man Logan. That one is really awesome. Ooh, you got Spider Woman. Hulk is in here. Yeah, this is definitely Old Man Logan. And after that is Deadpool. Check out the cover. Deadpool is always fun. And the Deadpool, yeah, the Deadpool chapter has like all sorts of gore and guts and eyeballs flying everywhere, as Deadpool should have, as is appropriate for Deadpool. So I is approved. I is much approved this. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's my that's my new favorite. That's my new bay. Just kidding. That's so gross. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's so adorable. Is that a Deadpool apple? What is happening? Wait. Oh no. What? Oh, it's in the corner. Okay. Wait. I just lost my place for a second. That's a Deadpool apple. Is it? That's so awesome, and I'm so confused. And the last one is, da, 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 da. what is that? Here's the cover. And the last one. Uh, what is that? I see Rhino. I'm confused. <laughs> so I see Punisher, Venom Punisher. So there's that. And I swear I saw, I swear I saw Rocket Raccoon. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, no, not this one. Oh no, Rocky Raccoon, look at that. Okay, that's super awesome. Ooh, I like that Captain Marvel face too. This art style is really cool. I'm just gonna gush over all the other artists for the rest of this video. But yeah, the last one has yet another different kind of art. Very animation-y and super dynamic. Um, look how cool that page looks. That looks awesome. So anyways, and oh, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned the covers yet. Here's the back cover that is uh, X-23, which is super, super duper cool. All the covers look awesome. So yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully that was a nice introduction to this for everyone who's probably waiting for this to come out. I know I always like to wait for the trades. And I will flip through floppies if I'm in a comic shop and I'll read them, but I rarely buy floppies because they're sort of hard to, hard to store and I 
tend to wait for the trades to come out and I'll collect those. So um, if anyone has been following Veniverse and has been waiting for this or uh, if they want to delve into this or if they, you know, just haven't <laughs> sort of kept up with Veniverse and wants to give it a shot, this is all a series of one shots so you don't need to have read a lot of other, you know, parts of the event to understand it. They're all just one shots and they're a lot of fun. They're really cool. So check this out. Um, of course, like you can go on the Marvel website, Amazon, everything, or patron, uh, patronize your local comic book shop. Yes. So that's all. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.